the T code is SWO1. So remember is SWO1, not SW01. Okay. SWO1. It will take me to the business object builder. So here I need to enter the object name. So I know I have been working on this object. So I give this object name. I'll go to display. All right. I got display. So here you will see lots of methods. So you want to say um, debug one of these methods. So what you need to do is you just hit this execute or test button. So once you hit the test button, it will ask for the primary keys. So let me let me cancel this and show you the primary keys. So I come here. So if you see the keys, there are three keys here. So this is too technical for you, but it's always good to know things, right? So there are three keys. So when you hit the execute button, it will ask for three inputs. So here is the three inputs. So I'll give SMS code say move in, move in. So you you don't need to know what this particular bar object is doing because it's a custom one. So you might have something else. So I hit execute. So whatever may be your bar objects, these screens will definitely follow. All right. So now I see that there are so many methods. Now I want to test one of the methods. Let's say I want to debug this method prepare data for moving. So what I can do, I can hit this execute button now. So if I hit execute button, it will ask for the importing parameters. So this is, you just need to give the importing parameters, whatever you know. So I say I give some importing parameters and a date. Say the, for me it is date. It might be something for you, something else for you. It might be a material in a plant. It might be a billing number and a billing date, anything. So for my object or for my method, it is some um, contract and this date. So I give today's date. Uh, let me give today's date 9. It's already 20 now, 2018. And then you go on the up, up. You see there is one execute, which will not stop your debugger. And another is debugging. So I would like to hit the debugging button. It takes me to the first line of that method. So I was trying to debug this method. Remember, prepare data from moving for mo moving. So it took me the first line. Now I can do a normal debugger. So if I press F5, I can press F5 to go to the next line. And then um, there is no code over there because after that, it's just ending. So if I do F5 again, it comes out. Oh, okay. So sorry, I was reading it wrong. So here it comes here and then do F5. So I give F5, F5. So I can see some data coming in here, some BP numbers, some contract accounts, then some, some something in the workflow and then an SMS is function module is called. I'll do F6. I don't want to to go inside what's happening i want to see what's coming so i'll do f6 okay i'll jump so i do f6 i see if any data is coming here okay so no data is coming so if you entered some date uh, value you gave some value but nothing is coming back in the table now you might want to know what is happening inside this so that is that you can test separately in a function mode it is as a, a, a c37 so now here if i check here it does some bunch of stuff and then it will if i press f8 so it will come out so it will come out and you see here it gave you no result because something was wrong so either this this number was incorrect or the keys which you entered was incorrect so this math method had two importing parameters so therefore you saw this screen but some methods may not have any importing parameters say for example, let's say I want to debug this method update contact log and I want to hit execute. After execute, I would expect that it will stop in a screen where I can give an input and then I will hit the debugger button, right? But look here, if I execute this, it directly gave me the output. It's saying that the business partner this does not exist and you did not get the opportunity to hit the debugger button. So there were two execute and debugger it did not show up because it had no uh, inputting parameters so therefore it did not give you the option but does it mean that you cannot debug that uh, method no you can surely debug that method let me show you how 
in order to debug such methods what you need to do you need to go to the code of that method so what we'll do i'll go to swo1 again swo1 and i'll go to display i'll choose the method the method was update contact log so i click here i go to the program so there is a program behind the scene so this is the method update contact catalog so i'll put a breakpoint here so i click on this i got a breakpoint here now i'll go back i'll execute this then it will ask me for the keys i give the same keys execute now i execute the update contact log this is the method which did not ask for any input and directly executed so now i am hoping that when i click this button it says stop at the breakpoint because we have set a breakpoint and we can go into the debugger mode now so let me execute it bingo the debugger started and it stopped at the same spot where we set our breakpoint so this is how you can debug a method with importing parameters i showed earlier and this one is with no importing parameters so it's directly uh, executes the program of the method so i have to put a breakpoint over there so then you can do your normal debugging whatever you you know how to do all right so if i just do this i come here and then i got some error message let's see this error message it says business partner does not exist if you click on the bottom i'll just close this and i'll just expand it i'll contact this and i'll just expand this so here it says business partner does not exist now you need to investigate why this message is coming so you need to go here you might need to check this class okay so that's the job you have to do so you have to go inside here and check why this is throwing business partner does not exist so the easiest way is take this number and go to your business partner table and check whether it exists if it does not exist then you know that you have entered a wrong data so hope uh, you understood on a high level how to debug the bore object methods and the most common scenario where you want to use this is during your workflow developments this uh, trick to debug the methods of the bore object is usually used in your workflow developments so if you are a functional guy you may not never need it but if you are curious and you want to make your hand dirty in the debugging mode then you can you are surely welcome to uh, follow the steps which i showed you